Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Alhamdulillah uh, uh, I'm so happy to see all of you today um, Although, okay, uh, they are still your friends that I need to approve And they are still trying and PM, PM me Okay, uh, it's okay, hari ni kita slow sikit Maybe insyaAllah next time should be better and smoother okay uh, so before we start um, while why waiting so i just want to remind everyone and myself about ramadan uh, please ambil kesempatan take the opportunity to really uh, submit ourselves especially during the covid-19 outbreak yeah don't think because we are young so everything should be hold should be held until later tunggu tunggu lah baru nak serious beribadah semua tak nak dalam cinta kan same goes to study learning and online classes assignments and tasks I it's it is quite disturbing to hear from the other teachers that from three students and and other students you don't really do the task even some of you don't even bother to text your teachers ask your friends what to do and explore um, um, right. um, Although PT3 is cancelled, you we still need to prepare for IGCSE. Okay. Um, okay. So, so that's all. So we should start now. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Let's say we have a glass of water. Okay. What happens if we have a slice of lime and we place into the water? So you will see water is displaced. Now, what happen if we have a an egg of higher mass so we have higher displaced what if we add all of them together so the displaced of water is even higher so this is what Archimedes who is an ancient mathematician he found about buoyancy what he found can explain the phenomena that we have seen about the water displaced. When a floating object is in equilibrium, it will have two forces and the two forces are the same. However, in opposite direction. Now we have um, two balls. One is made up of rubber and another one is made up of steel. Now observe what do you see. Yep, you see that right? You observe right? The rubber ball is floating but the steel ball is sinking. Why is that? That's because of the weight or the mass. One of them has higher mass or weight. So now maybe you have some ideas to explain why a uh, um, heavy ship uh, can float in the ocean. Why is that? And just now we agreed that steel ball sink, uh, will sink. Okay, so at least actually um, when the ship floats, its weight of water displaced is equal to the buoyant force. So it's in equilibrium and it's it can float. So now we are coming to the principle which is the buoyant force applied by a fluid is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. So this is Archimedes principle. And we should know the formula is buoyant force equals to rho Vg and rho is the Density of fluid, V is the volume of the um, displaced water, and G is the gravitational acceleration. 
and we already know that buoyant force is equal to the weight of water displaced so we can use uh, these two um, concepts uh, uh, form and formula to solve problems so here is an example activity to explain the concept so this is 5 kg object and it is put in a on a weighing balance so that's the first case so second case or second condition so we place a, a water in a eureka can and a small beaker under this opening and then we immerse the 5 ki kilograms object and we will see the reading on the um, the reading is smaller why is that? that is because of buoyant force acting on the object and you will see you will notice uh, displaced displace water and the displaced water's wave is the same as the buoyant force so this is the theory a floating ship applies this concept I have edited the video. Um, if you learn something from today, please subscribe to the, this channel for more learning videos. Okay, so if there are no more questions, we can move on to uh, solving problems regarding um, Archimedes principle. And if you have problems or you want to ask questions, you can just switch on your microphone or you can just type at the chat box